it's apparent throughout the state there is one common thread that bonds Ohioans together. From our landscape, to the apparel we wear, and the teams we root for, Ohio is known for its Buckeyes. The word Buckeye has become synonymous with Ohio throughout the years. While Ohio's most famous Buckeye might be Brutus Buckeye, folklore traces Colonel Ebenezer Sprout in bringing the Buckeye name to the state. The uh, Buckeye has always been prominent in Ohio. It's attached to a uh, early settler with the Ohio Company. His name is Colonel Ebenezer Sprout. Accounts have said that one of the first court sessions, Indians in attendance gave him the nickname Hetuk, translated roughly into Buckeye or Big Buckeye. And he kept the nickname, was proud of it. So Buckeye has evolved from there. But the Buckeye's popularity did not gain steam until the 1840s presidential campaign. William Henry Harrison used the log cabin in his 1840 presidential campaign as a symbol. He was attacked as just an elderly man who would be happy just to sit on the front porch of his log cabin and drink hard cider. Harrison then, as part of his campaign, showed that the log cabin was a symbol of the settlers in the Midwest, and he had, and his campaign had log cabins made out of buckeye wood and then decorated with buckeye nuts around the roof of the cabin, and they would take it to rallies. This was a very popular campaign. So it was a very popular symbol for William Henry Harrison, and it stuck to him in terms of the Buckeye. And although he died shortly after his inauguration, he was still well thought of. In Ohio, a number of businesses began to take the name Buckeye. For example, in 1851, an iron furnace was founded down in Jackson County called Buckeye Furnace. And this was one of the early companies, and it, and it continued to grow. Around the turn of the century, there was a Columbus company called Buckeye Buggy Company. It um, was a long time successful company. In 1953, the Buckeye tree became the official state tree. With rich soils and plentiful rainfall, the Buckeye tree finds Ohio to be the perfect home. It's native to Ohio, so it does quite well in our soils. I mean, Buckeyes will survive where many other trees won't. You'll find them in the wild in undisturbed areas. Um, they tend to be uh, probably later in the, the development of a forest. Buckeyes tend to have five, sometimes up to seven leaflets arranged from a central point coming off of the leaf stem or petiole. That separates them very easily from other hardwoods like oaks or maples. The state is home to several different types of buckeye trees. The yellow buckeye, it grows the tallest in the forest, um, and it is probably the one that is the best as a choice for a shade tree, uh, relatively insect and disease resistant, and will perform well in the home landscape. The red buckeye, Eschylus pavia, it will grow to about 25 feet and very well behaved. And if you have a small space in your garden or maybe a very small curb lawn, that might be a good opportunity to plant a, a red buckeye there. Well, the bottle brush buckeye, in my mind, it's the most beautiful of the buckeyes that will thrive in this part of Ohio. It grows as a shrub and it's absolutely spectacular. It really does look like a very tall white bottle brush. Well, I think probably what folks should know is they are a suitable choice for the home landscape. They can bring delight to all ages because of either memories of fun they had with them as a child or the sheer joy of a child finding a large nut on the ground that's shiny and, and smooth. They do attract squirrels. Squirrels aren't always bad. And they have beautiful flowers in the spring. There are a lot of good reasons to have them around. and something a little bit different than what people are normally planning in their home landscape. 